hello welcome to this video so in this video i'm going to continue looking at the applications in the hot potato suit um we are looking at gemix this time and basically gemix is used for creating um activities that will allow the learners to order uh concepts or um, items um on a list so this is mostly useful if you want to you know if you want the learners to demonstrate that they understand you know a topic this could be a very good plenary activity or even a starter activity just to demonstrate that the learner has mastered the topic so without wasting much of our time let's go straight into how we can use gemix to create uh, such an activity open up hot potatoes let's uh, open gemix now the interface here of course you have the title at first then you have this screen here which says um, main sentence this is where your um, ordered sentences are supposed to be they're supposed to be in the flow um, they're supposed to be in the order um, that you have set okay and then on the right hand side here this is um, where you can have alternative uh, orders okay so if you expect that um, a particular um, activity uh, some sentences or some words might be or phrases might be ordered in another order and it's still correct then you can put the alternative solutions uh, here okay so what I'm gonna do is just go to um, the document that uh, I've prepared for Jmix and this is my normal um, sentences so I'm just gonna get these instructions here they are in a particular order this is computer architecture and uh, i'm gonna paste them here okay like that so these sentences are supposed to be arranged in order they they represent for example um how instructions are fetched and what order instructions are fetched and processed inside a computer system and i'll have an alternative solution also because i realize that statement number two uh, can appear uh, at any other point except you know after this point so it can appear any other point between you know uh, the first point and the last point okay so uh, i'll create one alternative solution of course it means i should have a six or four alternative solution rather um to show here so i can add this one here if i had another alternative solution i can add it here if i had another alternative solution i can add it here then you can go and set up your configuration as usual you can set up your title um, you can set up your um, your feedback your buttons your appearance um, you can set up your timer maybe for a change today let's set up the background color for this so let's go for this color as a background color maybe that's enough um, I don't need the timer I'll, so I'll go to um, the instruction and probably I need to add more instruction uh, specifically for this exercise so I'm just gonna go here and pick up the first part of the instruction because um, the students need this part uh, for them to answer the question uh, correctly and I'm just gonna paste it like that and say okay so I'm gonna go to web page standard format and I'm gonna call it the fetch execute cycle but I'll put underscore in between um, and say okay and then here just agree and save you in browser so I have uh, my instruction already here and the student can go ahead and arrange these in order so let's try to sort this in order the first one is we need to copy the address of the program counter into memory address register then increment the re register uh, the program counter and then um, the contents that are found in MAR are copied into MDR and then the next instruction should be um, the data in uh, MDR is copied into CIR then the inst instruction is decoded and then next the instruction is executed and lastly this process is repeated and then the uh, the student can now go ahead and check the items here so just say check and this is correct so that's about the gemix 